Hey guys, Tom Trams with Linux MCE. I just wanted to do a quick little demonstration of what you can do with a few minutes in HA Designer and uh, an infrared remote control uh, adapter for a PlayStation 3. What you will get is the ability to take and control your PlayStation 3 remotely from your orbiters. So, starting off with, we have right here an AV setup, amplifier, cable box, etc. And a USB URT sitting right here. Basically. Up here we have a PlayStation 3. And right here, right next to it, we have a Schmartz PS3 IR1000 infrared adapter. It is connected directly to the PS3 to the USB ports and once you have it set up and configured we have a device template in the database for it which by default configures it as a Blu-ray player well we're not really using it for that right here so to speak we're using it more as a way to play Netflix and whatnot so I made a uh, controller in HA Designer to shoot to do that Let's go back here a little bit, and I'm going to sit on the couch, and we're going to use a fairly standard iPad 1 here, running Roaming Orb, to do my control. Now we have the living room here, and you'll notice the very last button on the very right is the PS3 button. It's a scenario that we've added as a result of an AV device being in here. Pressing it. I don't know if you heard the beep, but it literally caused the PlayStation to turn on automatically. And within a few moments, it'll take and switch the inputs directly over to the PlayStation 3. As you can see. Now, once we have it, I have a little control surface that I've made for, the pur for this purpose right here. It consists of the basic controller buttons and the enter button here in the middle, which is mapped to the X button as well, since that is the most common function for it. Pressing the buttons on the controller cause an interaction with the PlayStation Low. Quite literally. So using this, I can literally interact with all of the aspects of the PlayStation 3 and use it directly, including Netflix. For best effect, I would recommend using native orbiter software but in lieu of that, the proxy orbiter works just as well, uh, with a little bit of an additional delay because of the uh, fetching of the entire screen data. No big deal, though. But as you can see, Netflix right here, ready to go. We'll go down a little bit and go to the left here, when I was watching here. Select it using the Enter button. Select again. And we're back where we were. Now, of course, I can. I do have the PlayStation button here. So that I can trigger a menu action. See? And when I'm done. I can press this right here, power, and it will automatically turn the system off for me. And when ready, it will switch the inputs appropriately, as you can see right here. So there you go, our basic little demonstration of the PlayStation 3. And you can see that it integrates basically all the way in. I'll start a movie here. 
just for the sake of doing it. DVD movie. And the moment that it switches over, I can, of course, have my DVD menus right here, of course. Go back for a moment. And if I select the PS3 again, you can see, of course, turns it on, and within a few moments, switches the inputs. Ready to go. I will go ahead. Now that I'm done, I'll hit the power off button here, and it will simply turn the system off. Once again, for reference here, this is the PS3 IR1000 infrared adapter. It can be purchased for about 99 bucks from schmarts.com and fulfilled through Amazon so you can get it pretty quickly. And it will provide you with the infrared control to be able to control your PlayStation 3 as part of your Linux MCE system. Until next time guys, have fun and let's try to get more and more different devices connected and integrated into the system. Later guys.